Good day everybody. Welcome back to the Hen's Tooth Cafe. This video, part two of uh, experimentation with the uh, Super Fuzz circuit. Um, in my first video I was using a uh, quad array chip which is uh, one of these suckers. It's a TPQ2222. It's still in here. What I've decided to change out is uh, what I'm experimenting with today is the uh, the octave section, which in the last video I was using a LM394 super match pair in a cam. And today what I'm going to be using is I had a few of these two SC1583 dual transistors kicking around from a previous uh, project that I was working on which didn't work out but since I had them I figured well you know you know I tested them on my peak atlas meter and they were a lower gain so I figured well I'll throw it out there and see what happens the uh, the 1583s uh, are a dual transistor five pins the center pin is the uh, is the emitter for both transistors they're a shared emitter and then you have collectors and base going out to the uh, to the other outer edges so the shared emitter is is, is 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 fine for this circuit because you know you're sharing the emitter and the collector in the octave section of the super fuzz. So um, I threw it in here and uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's uh, it's a bit tamer than uh, the circuits become a bit tamer than with the uh, LM394, um, but. Um, Taming the octave section actually helps the fuzz. Um, the uh, arpeggio artifacts on the decay that I talked about in my first video um, actually come through a little stronger. The octave is still pretty decent, uh, although um, because it's tamer, uh, when you turn up your drive, it doesn't tend to overpower the fuzz like the 394 does. Uh, the 394 I found was uh, the, the fuzz was was uh, very good on the first half of the dial, and then once you went past that, the octave was the octave effect was so strong that it would tend to give you like this uh, ring modulation sound to any uh, chord voicings that you would try to play. So uh, if you were trying to play complex chord voicings, um, yeah, you're gonna say who the hell plays complex chord voicings with a with a super fuzz? But if you're trying to uh, they'd really get obliterated. The individual notes would really get obliterated with uh, with the 394. Whereas it's it's a a, a bit better with the 2SC1583 um, because it's tamer. Uh, your your chord and uh, your fuzz uh, I think sounds better. So we'll plug it in and uh, same guitar as last time. We're gonna start with the uh, tone on the mid hump. And got the drive set to minimum. And uh, another thing I should mention too, before I go any further, the 10k trim pot uh, came in real handy uh, because uh, I was able to balance my voltage on the two bases of the of the octave section transistors. Um, when you are able to balance the voltage to have equal voltage on both bases the circuit gets quieter and the octave effect gets better so if you have it really really set even like I have here I have both sides exactly at 1.892 volts um, and uh, this is as quiet as the circuit could get and it's as good as the octave effect will get as well Again, bridge pickup, tone full on, and uh, drive at minimum. Pick up. And 
you can start hearing that octave coming through. We'll turn the tone down. See, I can I can hear it better than I could with the uh, with the 394 that that those arpeggio artifacts on the decay, and uh, I'm not playing that loud, and the drives on minimum. I I, um, I was hearing those more when the drive was up higher with the 394, but with the 2SC uh, 1583, they come through a lot clearer just about anywhere on the drive. the volume back a little bit. I'll turn the tone up. Alright, we'll go back to the bridge pickup and uh, we'll put the mid scoop on. fuzzy but like I said the chords come through a lot cleaner than uh, with the uh, 394 can in there okay go back to the bridge pickup we'll dial the Drive up full now. Tones on. Mid hump. Really loud, really brassy, really fuzzy. But the chords come through a lot cleaner than with the uh, LM394. So, um, I mean, you, 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 have, you definitely have a choice here. I mean, if you want to uh, use the LM394, just be prepared to uh, know that uh, y your, your first half of your drive pot from 0 to 5 um, will will sound like at 5 it'll sound like the 2SC 1583 at 10 uh, from with the 394 from 5 to 10 I mean then it gets, starts to really get insane the octave section is just so strong that it'll start it'll start to obliterate a lot of you know any fancy chord voicings that you might want to try um, but it will it will definitely give you a stronger stronger octave this is uh i guess what i would call uh the uh the middle of the road with the uh with the 1583 uh the the whole drive pot is uh is very usable especially uh at max i'll go through the neck pickup and um with the tone rolled off max drive <laughs> Uh, 
flute position. definitely sounds a lot cleaner uh, in either uh, the scoop or the hump position. For you guys watching at home, I'm telling you, it's just, uh, I, I held on to that cord a little extra long because uh, I'm sitting here beside my amp and I, I just have these fantastic harmonics coming through and just playing like an arpeggio, like up and down and up and down and up and down as the note decays away. So uh, there you have it. Again, not the cheapest way to build a super fuzz not the easiest way but um, definitely uh, another take on it so uh, if you want to try it what I'm using here one N60s for the uh, clipping diodes just plain old electrolytic caps uh, metal film caps uh, metal film resistors and a 10k trimmer for the octave section just look at the uh, Univox uh, super fuzz schematic and uh, just follow it along and uh, again TPQ 2222 transistor array and uh, 2SC1583 for the octave section and that's what you get thanks again for watching and have yourselves a great fuzzy day <laughs>